Now, this is somewhat interesting to me. It looks like they have a big heat sink for the Salsa NVMe. Uh, the one I have actually has a heat sink factory installed, so let's see how that works out. So, it is pretty cool. Looks like I could take it off. Since so the heatsink is pre installed, it should not be removed as it could damage the device. Alright, so the M2 drive, it goes under here. So we have to take this uh, thing off. Now, these two screws take off. It's sort of a cosmetic plate that goes on top. But then it's actually this screw here. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna take off the whole thing. And yep. Okay, so I guess you have to take this off to get underneath. Let's see what you have to do. Yeah, so of a block um, like in theory maybe it helps honestly I don't think it does <laughs> uh, with heat at all uh, but this is the main thing so you can see the screw and then this would be the heat sink yeah and so I'd already unscrewed it so once I took that off this actually just lifts out. There's a tab here, so it flips out that way and then up. Um, okay, so the idea with this is actually it has a sticky stuff, and you would apply it onto your M2 NVMe solid state drive, and then. I think the, the adhesive is also a thermal conductive, I hope, and so, because otherwise, you know, it's not going to do anything, but it's probably thermally conductive, and then it goes to the metal, and then, so that's how that works. And then, uh, yeah, it looks like a tab, and then it screws, so you can see it's designed to screw in, uh, and then this goes there. But there's another standoff, so anyway, the thing is, since the one we have already has a heatsink factory installed, which is better. I, it's got to be better than like how you stick this on. Then hopefully this will work, All right? Because this screw is a little different placement. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, so actually it's fine. So it's actually do line up, but the you know that one it adds the tab. This one it's cut in, but the if you line up the bottoms, it's, it's a little bit longer. So interesting. So that means the whole PCB board of this thing is a little longer. Anyway, it's looking like if we just yeah install that. Good. Yeah, great. So then we can just use this with the sink already factory installed, and we'll just save this for later if, for whatever reason in case we need it. But we won't use that. And so I could, you know, I could figure out how to take this off and use it, but they give you one. 
Yeah. So in this little bag, they actually give you your own. So that's what this is for. Um, since I'm not using this. Otherwise, I wouldn't need this. Because this would stick on the thing. And so, okay, on this motherboard, the you know, Gigabyte B550 Haros Pro, you know, AX, um, there's two M2 slots, right? So this is the top one. And this one is directly connected to the CPU, which means if you use, you know, a Ryzen 3000, Ryzen 5000, you know, you get that PCI 4.0 speed. Um, <clears throat> on the bottom, there is a second M2 slot. However, it's connected to the chipset, and in the B550, that means only PCI Express 3.0 speeds. You don't get the 4.0 speeds. Uh, my drive is only a 3.0 drive anyway, so I could, you know, put it either one. Um, but being on the bottom, you know, it's not going to be as good for thermal things. And since this already has a heat sink, uh, it might not actually fit because it sticks out a little bit. Um, so for a lot of reasons, I just want to put it here. And I'd really like to consider that back one as like sort of a backup, slower drive. You wouldn't want it to generate a lot of heat and such. Um, but I'm going to put it here. And in the future, I may upgrade, like I was saying, I may upgrade the 750 to the Western Digital 850, which is a 4.0 drive very fast. Uh, but for now, this will work. I like the same width, but the Western Digital factory one, I don't know if you can see it, it flares out just slightly to wrap around. You can see, see they stuck it on and then actually wrap it around. So that where it flares becomes slightly wider. Actually, pressed against this heat pipe, which you know this is uh, they're cooling the heat the the chipset chip is underneath is underneath here, and that's what that's doing. I think it'll work. It it's but um, I don't know. It's not ideal. So it's actually not the heat pipe. It's underneath here. They it's so tight. That's where it hits. So when you attach, when you come all the way down, I don't know. That's bad design. I mean, that's such a tight tolerance. Uh, it's really unfortunate. Okay, it is going to work. I, yeah, but it is. I mean, I hope it doesn't mess with the contacts. I don't think it should. It just is surprising that they didn't design it better. Little screw. Where does it go? So I I do it snug but you know I'm holding it loosely so not not tightening it a lot. Yeah, so what's happening is here, there, there's literally no, I mean, less than a millimeter, and Gigabyte didn't give any tolerance. So since the Western Digital flares just slightly, you notice it, it is, it's, it's slightly crooked. Um, I'm pretty sure the pins, I mean, it's, it's in there, so I don't think there'll be a connection problem. I don't think the stress, you know, you'd hope they wouldn't have any long-term things. It does, you know, where you screw it, there's a little bit, there is tolerance, right? It can waver a bit and so it does it screws in sort of nicely enough um but just kind of odd so we'll save this and then yeah i realized i didn't need this standoff um so maybe that's if you have the shorter one i'm not sure so we have to keep those Yeah, it does, height-wise, uh, it should be fine. So we would sort of reattach this little thing, just because, why not, I guess? And again, just stuck. And again, just snugly, but not 
you know, super tight. Okay. Yeah, so you actually see it sticks out a little bit, um, but the height, you know, is not a problem. So that's sort of good. And that fits in there. <laughs>